Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I have created a slight break in the rail line because I want my train to end up over here. So let's just do that and uh, then we'll continue on with the rest of what we need to do today. Uh, I want to put in, yeah, this is just a turnaround here so that we can, you know what, we'll probably do it a little bit differently. Hold on. Let's put this far enough that it doesn't block any other trains going by. I don't think it will, but you never can tell. Anyway, uh, let's get this shift, click it, and we'll go with that. Okay. And now we have um, a little bit of an area here. Yes, we have too many things over there. This is not going to stay. It'll be fine. Okay, that will do. We don't have much traffic going anyway, this way anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. I left the building train. Uh, it was stuck here. There you can see it's already generating a bit of traffic, but I wanted to come up here. So what I've done between episodes is I have kind of found places where I want to build stuff. So low density structures, I'm going to build up here. Uh, Eleonora, please, please refrain. Oh my god, I, this, she's a freshly baked cat. She just was sitting on my shoulder. And by baked, I mean she's been sitting sunning herself on the window. So she's all warm and fuzzy and purry. And it's very cute. Um, anyway, but we've we've had our love moment. Now it is time to record. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's now sitting by my mouse hand. So I'm um, making it slightly inconvenient. But we're going to do our low density structures here. This is our rocket site here. So it's not too far to deliver from there. Uh, it is close enough to the base to get uh, the material materials from the base so that's not too bad uh in fact steel is right over there so i think this is a good spot for it uh i've chosen a spot away from the tracks uh the main line because of uh we we want to have a fairly big train station and get um the uh have plenty of room to just have our trains coming around because we have three different inputs for this and then one output will probably also need to have a fuel station um so that is definitely uh something that we would need to think about anyway um yeah and i've been also asked continually by the same person i think to redo the fuel stations maybe we will we'll see um if not that's that's okay too anyway um what we want to do here is also uh we i've allocated a place for control units rocket control units to be built these have two assemblers nearby each other uh and also the room to expand to more if we want to um so i think that's okay there i have calculated the ratios for the belts and things for all of these things and we may or may not use uh, the full amounts of belts. I think we can put them down. It's just about like I was thinking about this, um, the solid fuel coming from here and at full production speed, as we saw, it has 16 belts out, but it wasn't able to fill them. Oh, I missed this one. Darn it. Well, it's, then it had 14 belts out and I wasn't able to fill them. <laughs> So we'll have to fix this. Uh, I'll put this on our quest log. Uh, we did finish the oil outpost. Oh, and we didn't make the signs yet. Okay, let's add a quest. Oh, look at this. The buttons are changed. Oh my, that's very nice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> this is perfect. Add quest. <laughs> okay, fix belts uh, at rocket fuel station. Um... Yeah, I seem to have forgotten to do that. Anyway, that will be there. Create rocket parts is kind of what we're doing right now. I guess we can accept this as our quest uh, for now. This is perfect. Add quest. <laughs> I love that. I find that so amusing. I have to say, I, obviously, I do. Anyway, um, yes, low density structures. Uh, that is what we need to do next. I think what I can start off doing is just start off by taking power poles upward here. Uh, so we get some kind of power happening and then we can get going. But as I was saying, um, when, even when we're at absolutely full production over here, wherever we were there, uh, we only had 14 belts coming out. So it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to actually work. I think what, what we can do here is we can, uh, estimate this here and that'll be okay. Um, let's see. So that if we happen to walk by and completely forget about it anyway, we can still have this happening. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be fine. 
Uh, but we'll put it down anyway. I'm thinking for these, like we need stuff for like, um, so these are going to be the low density structures. Yeah. We need lots of belts. We're going to need here. Let me just see. Do, 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 do. Yes. Inputs 15 belts of copper and plastic and 31 belts of steel for four output lanes. So I'm thinking that we may see, and this is a problem also because, oh, and I didn't even take this into account that we have too many output lanes and we can't reuse these for other stuff. That's not good. So we have four things that we actually cannot use here. So I might have to take one off of each uh, thing or maybe copper and plastic reduced to 14 and steel to 30, maybe. Um, it's hard because it's all fractional. I forgot to, to do those things. That's not good. Um, I'm hoping, I, I know I read on the, uh, somebody linked me this discussion on the mod page that the author may be considering uh, changing the inputs and, and outputs to not include them. So that would be awesome. I like this idea. Anyway, um, we'll see how it goes, but I think for the most part, what we're going to have here is probably just robot chests. And I think I'll put the output on one side and then we might even have the, might change this a bit and have the input stations around here and the output station here. Uh, and then they can kind of go around and meet to go on the output thing. That could, that could be an okay idea. That's not too bad. But uh, I would have to have a, a pass by thing for this. That would be okay. I think that would be, be just fine. All right, let's find our ring. And as uh, someone noted, there is a beacon on this ring without the um, modules. So we need to fix that. Okay, I'm lining this up by the substations. And then we're going to re-blueprint this thing. There we go. And we'll put in speed modules here. Very nice. And where did that blueprint go? There it is. Let's just delete this one, clear this one, and then re-blueprint this. Okay, there we go. Uh, go to our blueprints, delete this beacon ring. Bye-bye. And we'll rename the one that I just got to beacon ring. Okay. Uh, let's just do another double check. Yes, they're all good. Fantastic. Let's see. Can I... Ah, export to blueprint library. Where the heck did it go? Did it go in the right place? Of course not. No, of course not. That's not good. I didn't want it there. I wanted it here only. Go away. That, that, I, w I was hoping it would open this thing and give me the option of where to put it. Um, that's not good. Okay. It's, it's, it'll be fine though. Uh, right. So what we need here, we can take this out. We only need one of those things. Uh, but the good thing about this whole thing, well, you know what? I don't know if I should bother even having the output on this side because we're still going to have inputs on this side as well. They're going to be all over the place. <laughs> um, conclusion, probably we just need to have our regular train station. I think that would be okay. I think we'll have uh, that on one side. Maybe this side is okay. And then we'll just have the trains loop around and go back to the base on the other side. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We need lots of input stations here. We need, oh, did we still not do this thing? It's fine, it's fine. We'll probably need more steel once we start using steel. Sulfur crystal drop off. Is this? No, no, no. We did green circuits, I think, though. Oh, yes, yes. This is our bot place. Yes. Uh huh. This is good. I think we'll just copy this wholesale, really. Um, but I want to put them sideways. I don't want to have them facing this. I don't quite like that at the moment. So, what we're going to do is we'll just copy this. And this, I think this will work well enough. Let's take this whole thing. Okay, and then we get rid of these two robo ports. Get rid of this and that. I just wanted these signals to come on the side. Oh, this is lovely though. This is quite nice. Um, 
I think we're missing a RoboPort down here. No, possibly. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. We're fine. Let's just take this out. Take the power pole out. Take the lamps out. And then we have our... This is the fueling station. It's good to have a fueling station. But first of all, we need to prepare this area by having massive amounts of RoboPorts because this is going to take a lot. It'll be good, though. It really will be very good. Okay, let's go back to the train. Oh, dear. Yes, I changed the speed a little bit higher <laughs> in the options, uh, just so you're aware of the. Oh, dear. Wow, just a slight tap, and we get this crazy amount of stuff here. Um, but yeah, just uh, because the distances are getting... Whoopsies. Distances are getting longer. Uh, as we're going further out. So I thought, okay, it's time to do this. Now then, um, is that enough RoboPorts? Probably not. I think I need probably more. Um, I could just put them on the sides as well, like this. The nice thing is that these beacons have, or not beacons, but the, um, these power, um, the substations, these power thingy majingies have a lot of coverage. Come on, put it there. Thank you. Now it's always best to try to put them on the flight paths, but if you cannot, then you cannot. It's a little bit haphazard, but it should be all right. Um, I'll go ahead and grab, ooh, should I? It's hard to know like where to put things. This is what I'm kind of like thinking about and wondering about as I'm putting stuff down here. Well, that's not good at all, is it? Okay, this is fine. Is that the back end? That is the back end. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so we can have, um, drat. Those first two stations are annoying me because I want them to be like this, be closer. Um, I guess we'll just have to do that though. I guess we can just do this kind of thing. Okay, like that. And then take these guys off altogether for now. And then go and grab them in a second pile of stuff. Let's get all these uh, tracks put down. We still need robo ports. And these also, these stations could be closer together as well if I wanted them to be. Hmm. Wondering about this. How many do we actually need? Let's see. We need three different in and possibly two for steel so that's four and then one output trains so one two three four five this is exactly five i wonder though if maybe i should change this up a bit so i feel like we're wasting a little bit of space two tiles of space on every thingy-majingy Okay, so let's just take these off. Too much editing. Too much editing. <laughs> too much editing. It's like, no. Why is this still creeping those things out? That's not good. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's that's okay then. It's kind of a thing. Please, there we go. All right. Got those back. Um going to go ahead and take that off. Okay. Grab two more here. Should I have two for steel? I don't think I... Do I need two for steel? Not really. No, I mean, not really, really. I don't believe I do. Let's see if I can just copy this. How the heck do I copy this? Like this, maybe? I guess that works. Sure. Now, we don't... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. 
ah, one tile off and it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, the pitfalls of blueprints, but it'll be fine. Uh-huh. Okay, we're, we'll get it eventually. It'll be fine. All right, what we're going to do is just place this correctly. <clears throat> and then we'll think about... Uh, we need to move the entire thing closer. So this is just our workshop right now. Copy this. And then we'll be several tiles closer. Excellent. We are wasting a lot of nanobots, but that's okay. We're fine. Until we get to have the infinite research bot speed, we're really going to be suffering on those. What do we need? We can get mining productivity next. Worker robot speed. We'll go with that. First space science is going to be the return of the robots. There we go. Because worker robots is not only the logi bots, it's also the construction bots. Want to have those nice and quick. Zippity zap. Okay, there we go. Getting too much stone. Fine. Now then. Now then we can put this down. Um, two tiles. I kind of like walking space. Yeah, we're going to go with the walking space. Because otherwise we won't, we literally won't be able to walk between the chests and these. Maybe we squeak through we could. All right, let me go find, again, the green circuit array here. And then we'll copy the fuel station and the robot station, which are kind of important. There we are. Get these guys attached. Same thing, same deal. Okay, this is our attachment zone there. Perfect. Oh, very nice. And we don't care if these are quite far away. That is not relevant to us at all. Um, okay, I'll take this. Do I have any more? Oh, I do have plenty of tracks. Excellent. Okay, there we are. And I need more, more of all the things. More roboports, more boxes, and more loaders. Mini loaders. Okay, let's get all these things. We've got those. Let's just take the mini. Oh, really? Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll just take them all. Fine, fine, fine. All right, what else do we need? And uh, while this is happening, let's see. I think we got all of that going. We need to have our parking lot too going on here. Okay, and then we'll take this off. We don't need these. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Take that and just put it here instead. Each of these has an output. Okay, good. Oops, this one doesn't work quite as well as I want it to. It's all a little bit off. Okay, that looks much better. This one too. Break, break, break. Yep. Looking very nice. And then you go there. Another there and another there. Good. Excellent. All right, anything else we need to put down here? I think we're looking pretty darn good here. Uh, now we just need to make the um the parking lot for the trains to come in let's see what we want to do oh and we need to make another oil train oh let's put that on our quest uh new oil trains because i've completely forgotten those okay um let's get our uh blueprint book out for the um parking lots rails there we are do something the other way, like this. I think that's good. Uh, let's label these things first. Like one, two, three, four, five. So that's four in and one out, I think. Ooh, I did not look at what is going in and what is going out. Oh dear. These are going out. Wow. All of these are going out. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, uh, no. I have recopied all the wrong ones. Uh, is 
Sometimes I feel like my brain is totally broken, like completely and totally broken. Um, but it's okay. I think, are these all messed up though? These are going into the provider chests. Yes, that's right. So we only need one out. Um, we can just change one of them. But why are these going in there? Yes, those are, those are right. Those are correct. Okay. Ooh, looks like we need some uh, decider combinators. I need to probably request those from the world. Sorry, my dyslexia is getting the best of me at the moment. And I'm having a hard time with ins and outs and things and stuff. So, okay. So we do need to have those going in. The last one needs to be an out. Okay. I get this now. I understand. Um, let me just filter this deconstruction planner to only take chests. Let's see. There we go. Chests and combinators, which are going to be these guys, deciders, I think. Yep. All right. And we will delete this station. Only this. Oh, and the, we also need the mini loaders too. There we go. Okay. That is what we want. This is exactly what we want. Good. Ah, okay. Now we're making progress ish. Um, no, we are making progress, which is very good. It's just sometimes when one's brain does not work as one expects, you can get very strange results. Now then this is what we want here. Uh, and we have to be careful to choose something. Okay, there we go. This is what we want. These are the requester chests that are going to request the product here, which is going to be low density structures. I need some more of those boxes though. Whoopsies. No, there we go. Tap, slight tap, slight tap takes me too far. Um, we have some beacons. That's good. Uh, all right. There we go. Nice. That works well. Uh, of course, we need to request the proper product. Let's change this. This is going to be uh, low dense struck um, low DS. We'll just call it low DS. Uh, and this is going to be pickup. I think we'll make these kind of all kind of gray, maybe ish, maybe light gray, like 55. They're kind of a funny color. Gray is fine. Okay. And we will copy this over. And then these guys are going to be something else. They're going to be low DS drop off, or it's going to be labeled steel drop off. I want closest. So these are going to be copper drop off. Okay. And this is going to be copy paste. This one is going to be plastic drop off. Okay. It would help if I put a space. There we go. Paste this one here. Oh, I did do two for the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Steel drop off. We'll just have two of these. Okay. Copy and paste. Um, I forgot if I should put those as the type they are probably. Are these the color they are? Yes, they are. Look at this, the green circuits. This is copper looking. What is the number? 255, 125 for that one for copper. 255, 125, I think. And then zero. Okay. That's copper. And then plastic is going to be white, which is all 255s. And steel also is white, interestingly enough. Oopsies. Come on. There we go. And we'll just copy paste this one. That makes it easier. All right. So we got that stuff going. Now we have the building train we can come through here. We also need an arithmetic combinator or two. So I'll make a few of those. Um, 
I guess I need to go to back to the base. So I don't really want to take these combinators on the train with me. That's kind of silly. So we're going to call this refuel. It's just going to be a generic refuel station. And I think I'm going to take the advice of somebody who was uh, commenting very continuously <laughs> that if, um, let's see, I guess we can just say if the boxes are empty or if, no, if the boxes are below a certain amount, then we can close the station. So we'll do that. So these guys, let's see, let us get our wire. Wire them all up. Wire it to the station. These guys are... Ooh, we don't want to have them totally full, do we? We want to have, like, I don't know, one row or something. So one row times... How much is in a stack of coal? Let's find out. Stack of coal is 50. Okay. So we have... Let's see. 50 times 10 is 500. 500 times, how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So times six, that's 3,000 coal. So I think if we have less than 1,000 coal, then we want to, if we have less than 1,000, I think it's coal that we're transporting, then um, enable this, the train station. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, yeah, we don't need to read any of this stuff. We're just reading the boxes that are already here and then we'll do enabled. Okay. And so then we're going to change our train thingy majingy. Let's see, find the trains. There they are. And we have our fueling train. Where is it? Refuel. We're going to put this at the very end. We're going to put refuel, just regular refuel at the end. Uh, yes. And then just go until inactivity of five seconds. Okay. I think that's fine. That should be okay. Good. All right. Now these guys are requesting coal. Yes. Excellent. So I think we're, we're pretty well good on this. Uh, I think I'm going to send my train. Let's get our, our building train back. Go ahead and go to the base. And pick up, we needed to pick up more of the uh, um, robo ports. Let's see, go here. Go this way, please. What I should do is this actually, we need to do a signal here. I want this to have ish five cars worth of space between each signal, approximately. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna do this, try to be efficient and just blueprint the whole thing. It's not working out quite as I expected because of all the curves. Okay, put one there. Then we'll blueprint this. Aha, there we go. That's sneaky enough. Oh dear. <laughs> and it's on the wrong part of the track. That's very, very sneaky. Okay, it's fine though. It'll do. It will do. Okay. All right, is the train ready to come back yet? Probably. Looks like it's pretty happy over there. Let's go back to A. So it's going to come back to me here. And A is in a very inconvenient spot at the moment. <laughs> Let's move it back here so that we have room. Say OK. Remove this one. That's probably going to have to recalculate. There we go. Rails out. Oh, that's a very bad place for our radar. Right. Put you over there. Thank you. Rails out again. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. It's a very bad place for this thing. It'll be fine though. Okay, good. Let me just replop that blueprint in case there were any signals that got there. Nope, it's looking good. Fine. 
This is the most dumb thing ever. Jeez. Oh, not quite sure what's happening here. I'm not sure why I can't zoom in or out. Hmm. There's the train. Yep, for some reason I can't zoom in or out. I need to reload the game real quick. But I think this is probably a good time to stop the episode because our train has arrived and we're making much, much progress over here with this station. We need to put a radar out here, obviously, but it's looking good. So thank you so very much for uh, joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.